Good evening, everyone. Some are calling it a merger boom. Others say it's a tsunami. There's been a frenzy of mergers, acquisitions, and deals in the pharmaceutical industry just in the past 24 hours. The big one today, Novartis. The Swiss, Swiss drug maker announced a series of transactions valued at more than $20 billion that will retool its product pipeline. The news comes just a day after Valiant Pharmaceuticals teamed up with activist investor Bill Ackman to buy Allergan for about $50 billion. Well, investors snapped up stocks of drug makers today on hopes there could be a lot more deals to come as some of the biggest names in the industry look to get out of non-core businesses and to focus instead on promising new drugs that could become financial bonanzas for years to come. It started with rumors, a possible Pfizer bid for AstraZeneca for an astounding $100 billion. Then Valiant teamed up with Bill Ackman to buy Allergan, maker of Botox. On top of that, Novartis announced deals with GlaxoSmithKline and Eli Lilly. Big deals could be the new prescription for big pharma in the 21st century. The Valiant bid to buy Allergan is all about growth. Allergan's a tempting target because of its fast-growing brands like Bausch & Lohm and its wrinkle fighter Botox that accounted for one-third of the company's sales last year. We're talking about high single-digit organic growth. Jeff Ubbin, a big Valiant shareholder, hopes the company will rank number one in both skin care and aesthetics and number two in eye health. Being number one or number two in a drug segment is another motivation behind these mega deals. I believe what you're seeing our companies uh, really gravitating toward what they do well and really trying to build up strength and mass uh, in, in, those, uh, in those respective areas. And that's what's going on in Novartis's $28 billion three-way deal announced today. Novartis's swap with Glaxo and Eli Lilly got it out of vaccines and animal health and more focused on cancer drugs. Lilly's animal health business, Elanco, grows to be the number two player in terms of global revenues. More of these kinds of deals could be coming. Merck is in talks to sell its consumer health business, and reportedly Bayer and Sanofi are interested in buying. And then there's that talk about Pfizer and AstraZeneca. Both companies are struggling to find new sources of growth, with patent expirations cutting into their sales. What we're seeing is now they're going down the specialty pharmaceutical model. So we're seeing a, a narrowing and a focusing of businesses along strategic lines. And so far this year, the number of pharma and healthcare deals is just about the same as it was a year ago. But according to S&P, the value of those deals have nearly doubled.